How the fuck you doing, YouTube? This is the COD, Father Duck here, bringing you another Game Battles match. This one is up against New Foundation of Gaming, okay? And right now, this commentary is again going to be talking about how to start out Game Battles. I couldn't fit everything I needed to say about how you should start Game Battles in the first commentary, so this one should finish it. I talked about almost half of the stuff that I wanted to say, and I finished up with gun skill. So, I'm going to start up with gun skill. You want it. Done with that part. Okay. Now, the next thing you need to do is, most likely, get a good team chemistry going. If you have a horrible team chemistry and you hate each other, you guys aren't going to be doing very well. You're not going to be communicating. You're not going to want to help each other out. If you, if one of your teammates dies, you're not going to be willing to put your life on the line to save them, or not save them, but to avenge them. You need good team chemistry. And also, team chemistry goes not just getting along with each other, but you need to know what each person is going to do. For instance, you need to be able to know before the match where they're going to go in a certain situation, what bomb they're going to defend, what playstyle they have, and that take, and that only comes from playing with your teammates for hours and hours and hours. Now, there are some teams where that just comes naturally. For us, it took a little bit of getting used to, but we've just recently acquired one of my good friends, Revise VT. I've known him for a while, and I have good chemistry with him, but my teammates have never played with him before, really, so they didn't really have good chemistry, and so we lost a few of our matches and scrims and whatnot just because we did not have team chemistry. So you want to get to know your friends, or your teammates, I should put it that way, know what they're going to do, and all that good stuff. Okay. On top of map knowledge from the last commentary, you want to know where everything is. Like for that, that guy had poor map knowledge. He did not recognize that there was an exploding barrel and a propane tank right next to him. That is very poor map knowledge. You need to know what can explode at any given time. Okay. So now that I've talked about team chemistry, <clears throat> You want to go into public matches. Now, you usually don't want to do public matches, but for the most part, you want to go into public matches and find out what game types you guys are strong at. Now, this goes along with team chemistry. You need to know what your teammates are going to do on certain maps for certain game types. It's all not the same. So, for instance, our team... Well, we've only done Search and Destroy and Capture the Flag. We're horrible at Capture the Flag. This is from Modern Warfare 2, though. Um... This is, that is why you're going to see primarily Search and Destroy from us, but when I start doing Black Ops, you're going to see Map Gen, which is going to be every game type, every map that is on the competitive ladder. Okay? So, like I said, you need to find out a good game type. For Modern Warfare 2, that's nice, like, to have the game type, simply because they let you choose what game type you want. You can choose Map Gen, you can choose s &D only, you can choose any stuff like that, or you can choose MLG Variant, which is a combination of s &D, CTF, and demolition. So, that's what I gotta say for game type. Find a game type that you like and try to stick to it or try to master it. If you can master two game types, you are set. Because usually there are only three or four game types that you're going to find in game battles. So if you can master two of the game types, you don't have to worry about the other ones, okay? Search and Destroy is a very common game type that you will see in playoff matches. Search and Destroy, I think they play two of them in regular competitive playoff matches. So if you can take out those two search and destroy matches, you know you're good at search and destroy, you're confident with your search and destroy lineup, well then, there's two easy wins for you right there, just because you are good at that game type. If you suck at a game type, it's quite possible, no, it's not quite possible, it is 100% possible that you're going to lose that game type. You need to be masters of the game type. Okay, now that we've talked about game type, let's get into scrimmages. So, <clears throat> scrimmages are just like game battles matches, minus the pressure. You're not playing for experience, you're not playing for money, you're not playing for any of that. You're playing for fun and for practice. It's all about practice. Practice. Gotta, gotta pull out that Allen Iverson quote right there, baby. Practice. We talking about practice? Yeah, we're talking about practice. It takes those scrims, hours and hours and hours of playing with each other to start doing well. For instance, me and my team, even though we've played with each other for a good while now, we still do a scrimmage before every game battles match just to see how we do. We will set up a scrimmage, and you can do that by just going to the game battles forums and 
posting under the battles section and say 3v3 search and destroy perks akimbo scrim that's what we play we play perks and akimbo on modern warfare 2 search and destroy so you set that up you find a team and then you just go at it you treat it like an actual game battles match if you don't treat it as a game battles match you're not getting that experience if you're fooling around and doing what you would do in pubs that is not helping you need to do what you're going to do in the actual game battles matchup okay <clears throat> So, scrims is a great way, scrimmages are a great way to practice, <clears throat> excuse me, they are a great way to practice your callouts, your team chemistry, your gun skill, and all of that good stuff. So, all of these finishes up my commentary on what you need to do to start game battles. Now, if you guys have any questions for me, or any topics you want me to talk about, just leave them in the comment section below, and I will make sure to talk about them in my next Game Battles commentary. So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed. To wrap it up, scrims, public matches, do well on them. Good team chemistry, have a perfect game type, have good gun skill with multiple guns, and then have overall map knowledge. So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this two-part series for how to start up Game Battles. I will bring you some more later. Peace. Penis.